What's up, guys? Welcome back to the comments section. Brett Cooper here. Yesterday, I saw this on Twitter. I'm going to butcher his name, I feel like. And I looked up a video to try to figure out how to pronounce it. But I don't think there is one. Padrig Belton? Padrig. Padrig. All of the above. Pad. Maybe I'll just call him Pad. Pad Belton. He's a BBC journalist. He posted a tweet that is just like the most British thing ever. I love England. Like, I love your accents and your tea and your pretty buses and the Queen's cool and all that. But like this man, he is an idiot and he makes my American patriotism just rage. Like, I want to be in the revolution dumping tea into the ocean after I read this tweet. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. He went to the hub of American culture, which is Walmart, obviously. He posted this. <clears throat> I live from America, where Walmart doesn't have a plug adapter for my UK laptop, but on the other hand, I can buy a rifle and ammunition. That stupid English voice, was that me? Then he boasts a photo of some rifles. Dangerous American rifles. In theory, he's not wrong. In most states, you can buy guns and ammo at Walmart. It's sick. It's great. But these guns... Let's just take a closer look at the picture. They are BB guns. They are air rifles that can barely shoot through a tin can or even hit a squirrel. I wouldn't even classify them as any kind of rifle. They are a child's gun. They're like the gateway gun, basically. Like, have you guys seen A Christmas Story? Where it's like, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. It's a step up from a Nerf gun. I don't know why, so the fact that this man is having a breakdown about it. He got ratioed like crazy. It was highly entertaining. I threw a comment in there before I even decided to react to this, but I said, welcome to the most beautiful place on earth. And someone says, just wait till he finds out what a Bass Pro is. <laughs> I really want this man to go to the Bass Pro pyramid that's in Memphis. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's one of the wonders of the world, obviously. If you really want to understand American culture, Go to Cabela's or Bass Pro. I can't tell whether this person is being serious or not. That's really where we are on the internet right now. But someone says, so sorry, it's awful. I feel like this is like a British person being serious. Let me do this again. So sorry, it's awful. Someone else says, yeah, it's terrible. Please tell everyone to stop moving here. Yes. Jerry says, I'm a history scholar and this tweet is how America won the revolution. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ian Haworth, he's one of our reporters here at Daily Wire. He said, and he's, uh, for context, Ian is British. He says, these are air rifles, which are legal in the United Kingdom. <laughs> that makes it even better. I didn't even know that. So this guy literally can go buy one of these back in the UK if he so chose. Congratulations. You played yourself. Oh, it's beautiful. I posted this meme uh, from American Psycho. Impressive. Very nice. Now let's see the quote tweets. <laughs> Literally me. This was one of those tweets where I saw it and immediately I was like, diving in. He has his finger up like a finger gun. And he goes, wait until I show you my ghost gun. This thing is a fully semi-automatic. It has an invisible bayonet attachment, fragmentation, grenade launcher, laser sight, silencer, loudener, K-cup brewer, heat seeking missile launcher. And it goes undetected through airport security. <laughs> Another one. Sir, it gets worse. You can literally walk into Walmart and leave with an M1 Abrams tank. <laughs> God, they're just trolling this man so hard. You've raised the bar for all of us, Simpson, and I thank you. It's just perfect. I mean, doesn't this just epitomize, you know, why we made the American Revolution happen? Because of the way that these people look at our guns and our taxes? And listen, we know all you people out there across the pond, you have your inflated cartoonish stereotypes about America and our guns and our cowboy boots and our red, white, and blue. But newsflash, we don't really care. America. America. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, guys. I cannot believe that you're about to leave this video without liking it first. It's honestly kind of rude. Be better.